Hello everyone, you are the latest market news on February the 10th, 2021. Apple collaborates with TSMC to make new displays. Apple Inc. has partnered with Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co. to develop the micro OLED displays. It plans to use it in its upcoming augmented reality devices, reported Wednesday. TSMC is the only processor supplier for the iPhone, and the micro OLED displays are much thinner, smaller, measuring less than one inch, and consume less power, making them more suitable for using wearable AR devices, the report said. The micro OLED project with TSMC is currently at the trial production stage and will take several years to reach mass production. Bloomberg reported earlier in January that Apple is still working on the underlying technology for its AR glasses, codenamed N421. The product is a few years away, he said, and the company plans to unveil it as early as 2023. GM to report strong earnings thanks to EV shift. General Motors Co. is expected to report strong fourth-quarter earnings Wednesday thanks to strong demand for gas-powered pickups and SUVs. Still, the company's future electric vehicles are now driving the stock, shareholders and analysts said. Since November, when CEO Mary Barra announced plans to increase spending on electric cars, GM stock has risen 60 percent. Shareholders have celebrated the increase since the stock's original offering price was $33 in 2010. Analysts say GM stock could be worth $100 dollars within a couple of years. GM has helped turn the tide in the industry since November by increasing spending and accelerating EV development, announcing plans for an electric van and dedicated division and setting a goal to stop selling gasoline-powered light vehicles by 2035. Stock market marks new highs on Fed policy news. Asian stocks hit record highs Wednesday as upbeat earnings hopes for a major financial stimulus in the U.S. and a prolonged period of low interest rates fueled optimism about the global recovery from the pandemic. In the latest example, shares of Lyft Inc. rose 11.8 percent, while Twitter Inc. rose 3 percent in trading after their latest quarterly results. The MSCI Asian X MSCI index of stocks rose 0.86 percent, surpassing January's high and reaching its highest level on record. In mainland China, the CSI 300 rose 2.1 percent to a 13-year high, and the Shanghai Composite hit a five-year high on the last trading day before the holidays. European stocks opened sharply higher, with Euro stock futures up 0.47 percent, and British FTSE futures up 0.56 percent. The Fed said it would tolerate a temporary increase in inflation above 2 percent, leaving investors with the belief that low interest rates will remain at least until 2023. U.S. inflation data due out later Wednesday is expected to show an annual increase of 1.5 percent in the core consumer price index. Twitter's revenue jumped 28 percent, more growth expected. Twitter's Inc.'s quarterly sales and profits surpassed Wall Street expectations Tuesday, and the company is forecasting a successful start to 2021 amid a rebound in advertising revenue. The company's total revenue was a record $1.29 billion, up 28 percent year over year. The company's stock is up nearly 3 percent in over-the-counter trading, adding to an 11 percent gain this year. The social network predicts that expenses will rise 25 percent or more in 2021, but the company's overall revenue revenue will grow faster than expenses. Twitter has come under scrutiny after social media executives blocked U.S. President Donald Trump's personal account in connection with the storming of the Capitol in January. Speaking to analysts, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey said shutting down any accounts had little impact on the social network's business.